Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog Sessions. In the last session, I have already discussed what is class, what is object, and how to write the classes, the syntax, and everything we have seen. So in this video, we will see the examples for classes. Okay, how to access the properties, methods, everything. So this is the example to access the property and methods. This is the transaction class. Okay, so inside the transaction, I have properties. Properties is nothing but a uh, data members of the different data types. So bit type int type so 32 bit data and id i have this is the property and inside the class i have a constructor okay constructor is nothing but the inbuilt new method we have right to allocate the memory to create the object that is new 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 constructor function new you should not use the wide wide okay you should not use wide so this is the constructor function new i am passing m data here you can see dr is equals to new 10 I'm passing 10, right? So this is nothing but a M data. I'm, and I'm uh, displaying one statement and I'm assigning that value to the current class property data. Okay. And I have method also. See, this task and functions are methods in the class. And task update. Here I'm passing two values and I'm assigning to the current class properties. And another function to print the values of the function. Here I'm passing transaction type handle. Okay tr handle i'm passing so since i'm using only one instance no need to use this uh, tr dot okay but since i'm passing tr so i'm using this tr dot whatever i'm passing i'm using that handle okay tr dot data and tr dot id so if you want to access the properties inside the class you don't need the handle okay just you can use data comma id so inside the module you can see i'm allocating the memory and here how to access the methods by using the handle if you want to access anything whatever inside in the class you need to use the handle dot okay handle dot tr dot update and i'm passing two values tr dot print so i'm getting value a and for data a because i'm passing 10 hexadecimal form of 10 is a right and value of data is 5 and 9 i'm passing 5 and 9 and i'm printing so this is the printing statement value of data okay i'm getting 5 and 9 so this is the example for to access the property and methods now we will see the example for null what is this null most of the time when we are working with the classes or objects we will end up with an error okay what is that error null pointer dereference null pointer dereference or null object access error this fatal error we will get okay why we will get this kind of error because before we creating the memory if you want to access the class properties so in order to access the class properties we need to create the object create the object means we have to call the new method new constructor then only memory will be allocated then we can access so if you are accessing the class properties without create without creating the object without creating the memory without allocating the memory then you will get the error null pointer dereference okay so for that we need to give the memory here an example i have two instances tr1 and tr2 i am allocating the memory for tr1 handle and i am accessing the values i am giving the values 5 and 1 to the tr1 object okay and i am not allocating the memory for tr2 i have not allocated memory for tr2 but what i am doing i am assigning some values by using the tr2 handle i have not created the memory only and i am trying to give the values i am trying to access the properties so now i will run the code you can see see fatal error null pointer access right null pointer access here you can see fatal error occurred during the simulation one more simulator See, the object at the D reference step 0 is being used before it was constructed or allocated. Please make sure that the object is allocated before using it. Whenever you want to access the class properties, first you need to allocate the memory. Otherwise, you will get the error. So, I don't want this. I want to access, but uh, sometimes you, you may forget to allocate this new method and you are trying to access. That time, how we can avoid it by using the if method. This null will use. Okay. So, what I will do? I will use the if statement. Okay.
now what I have done see before accessing the tr2 transaction type I'm using if statement if tr2 is not equals to null that means if t that means I have created the memory right I have created the memory null means if it is not pointing to the null that means I have already created the memory then I can perform this I can access the values I can give the values and I can display this otherwise what it has to show it should not show the fatal error okay it should show this statement I don't want the fatal error if I don't uh, give the memory if I not if I have not allocated the memory then I should get this statement tr2 object is not created I don't want the fatal error that time you can use this if statement and you have to mention this null okay now you can see end is not used see object packet one data is equals to 5 and 1 this statement ok and after that tr2 object is not created this time I am not getting the fatal error right fatal error means it will uh, it will stop your simulation only ok it will stop the simulation only so I don't want to stop the sim stimulation and I want this message instead of that error that time I can use this null okay null keyword if tr2 is not equal to null then display this statement I don't want the error you can use like this and now we will see array of objects so, so what is array array is a collection of homogeneous data type homogeneous type of elements so what is this homogeneous means the elements of the same data type here the data type is class okay so same example inside the model I'm using fixed and dynamic array objects okay here we can use fixed size and dynamic and associative array. so in this example I'm using fixed and dynamic so here this is the fixed size array of objects that means I'm allocating the size in the uh, declaration only that is the the size will be fixed throughout the simulation and for dynamic array we will use the bracket right empty bracket and we will allocate the memory during the runtime simulation here you can see initial inside the initial begin tr underscore d is equals to new of 5 so don't confuse with this new and this new okay this is the new constructor to allocate the memory for the objects and this new is the uh, method to allocate the memory for the dynamic arrays okay these are all different and I'm using for each loop because when we are dealing with the array we use the for each loop to give the to iterate through the array so for each tr of i tr underscore f of i is equal to new it will create it will allocate the memory for all these five objects okay and I'm accessing the methods by using the handle tr of underscore f of 1 tr underscore f of 2 tr underscore f of 3 so all data how I'm allocating uh, how I'm giving the values i star i if the index is 1 1 star 1 is 1 if the index is 2 tr underscore f of 2 dot data is equals to 2 star 2 4 okay like this like this I'm as, um, giving the values and for similarly for dynamic array of objects I'm using this tr underscore d of i same thing I'm using okay and here I'm printing the values for each tr underscore f of i I'm printing the values arrays and for each tr underscore d of i i'm printing the values so now i will run the code here you can see this is for fixed size array and this is for dynamic array okay here i have not used underscore d but here i, I have used okay don't confuse so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 0 1 4 9 16 I'm 0 1 4 9 16 same value I have used so I'm getting the all types of array objects right this is the tr underscore f0 this is one object four five objects I have by using the array so similarly for associative array one more example is there similarly we have to use for associative array okay when the data collection is sparse when we have a sparse data then we can use the array of objects right 
so class transaction i have used one enum okay and class transaction it has a data and id and inside the module i have a transaction class and the index type is this enum enum type state is my index type okay so in the initial begin i'm using i'm allocating the memory for each type tr of idle tr of setup tr of access for all this uh, i am used the new method that means i'm creating three objects okay of type idle setup and access these are all the keys associative array we will use the keys right that is nothing but a index index has um, many types you can use in type logic type or um, enum type so same for each loop i'm using I'm, I'm giving the value and i'm printing the value Here you can see tr of idle dot data is equals to zero, and setup data is equals to one. Access data is equals to eight. Like this, we can use the arrays, array of objects. So this is all about classes. See you in the next video. Thank you.